Hey there everybody, Sean Kern with Gamer Vision. I used to play Wall Street Kid, you should play it now. Wall Street Kid was released for the original Nintendo Entertainment System, I want to say late 80s, sounds about right. Uh, the game had you playing as the title character of Wall Street Kid, never actually had a first name. Uh, at the beginning of the game, your uncle, Mr. Benedict, passes away, leaves you $500,000 in cash. It's your job throughout the game to turn that $500,000 into $6 billion and buy back the family's European castle. Honestly, if you do any research for Wall Street Kid Online, you're going to find that most people find the gameplay is boring. And trust me, the gameplay is pretty boring. You have to read the newspaper in the morning, buy stocks, and keep your girlfriend happy. Those are like the three things you have to do. But it's really a matter of, for me, it was always a matter of like, all right, I got two hours to kill this Saturday afternoon. Can I get the castle back in two hours or do I have to start all over again? What it had was when you reached a certain amount of money in your bank account, you would get these passwords. I, I would say probably 35 characters long that you would have to input but when you started the game off, that would take you right back to where you were the last time. So actually, it made a lot more sense to play the game through rather than try to find a notebook and write down 35 characters. Interesting thing about Wall Street Kid, they didn't have the rights to use actual company names in it. So what they did was, so instead of buying stock in IBM, right, you'd buy stock in YBM, huh? Instead of Carnival cl Cruise Lines, you'd buy stock in Carnivore Cruise Lines, huh? Come on. You can't write that shit. Everybody wants to go on a carnivore cruise. What are the velociraptors on the cruise boat? No, it's, you know, just better buffet. <laughs> I used to try to tell everybody who I, I knew who had a Nintendo that they had to get Wall Street Kid, and like the three kids I convinced to pick it up were like, what the hell is this? This is the most boring game I've ever played. But for me, and I think for you, Probably a good, probably a good investment. If you go to a flea market and they have old Nintendo games, you should sort through them because every once in a while you come across one. But uh, you know, if you if you were to have an illegal emulator, you could probably you could probably get it on an emulator.